welcome to the magical Isle of Skeezers, O strangers. His Majesty grants you an audience in his courtyard. I know who you are, though I have consulted my magic oracle, which told me that one calls herself Princess Ozma, the ruler of all the land of Oz, and the other is Princess Dorothy of Oz, who came from a country called Kansas. I know nothing of the land of Oz, and I know nothing of Kansas. Why, this is the land of Oz. Well, it's a part of the land of Oz anyhow, whether you know it or not. Oh, indeed. And I suppose you'll claim next that this Princess Ozma, ruling the land of Oz, rules me. There's no doubt about it. Do you dare make such a claim? I have not come to quarrel with your majesty. Who and what I am is well established. And my authority comes from the fairy queen, Lorlin, of whose band I was a member when she made all of Oz a fairyland. There are many different countries and many different peoples in this broad land, each who have their own separate rulers, kings, emperors, and queens. But they all render obedience to my laws and acknowledge me as their supreme ruler. If other kings and queens are fools, that does not interest me in the least. In the land of the skeezers, I alone am supreme. You are impudent to think I would defer to you or to anyone else. Let us not speak of this now, please. Your island is in terrible danger, for a powerful foe is coming to destroy it. Ha! Huh, the Flatheads. I do not fear them. Their supreme dictator is a very powerful sorcerer. My magic is greater than his. Let the Flatheads come. They will never return to their barren mountaintop. I will see to that. I do not like wars. Your Majesty, in the Emerald City, where I rule a thousand people, and in the neighboring countries where thousands more acknowledge my rule, there are no armies at all, because there is no quarreling and no need to fight. <laughs> Whenever a dispute rises among my people, they come to me, and I judge the case and award justice to all. So when I heard there might be a war between two faraway peoples of Oz, I came here to settle the dispute and adjust the quarrel. No one asked you to come. It is my business to settle this dispute, not yours. You say my island is a part of the land of Oz, which you rule, but that is all nonsense, for I've never heard of the land of Oz, nor of you. You say you were a fairy, and that fairies gave you command over me. I don't believe it. What I do believe is that you are an imposter and have come here to stir up trouble among my people who are already becoming difficult to manage. You two girls may even be spies of the vile flatheads for all I know and may be trying to trick me. But understand this. I have magic powers greater than any fairy possesses and greater than any flathead possesses. I am a crumbic wizard the only Crumbic wizard in the world, and I fear the magic of no other creature that exists. You say you rule thousands. I rule 101 skeezers, but every one of them trembles at my word. Now that Ozma of Oz and Princess Dorothy are here, I shall rule 103 subjects for you also shall bow before my power. <laughs> More than that, in ruling you, I also rule the thousands you say you rule. If you only knew who Princess Ozma is, you wouldn't dare talk to her like that. Dorothy. <sighs> I happen to know that the Flatheads intend to attack us tomorrow, but we are ready for them. Until the battle is over, I shall keep you two strangers prisoners on my island, from which there is no chance for you to escape. Lady Oryx, take these children to your house and care for them, giving them food and lodging. You may allow them to wander anywhere under the Great Dome, for they are harmless. Our 
after I have attended to the Flatheads, I will consider what next to do with these foolish girls. I obey your majesty's commands. Follow me.